Hi there, my most amazing artist. Today you're going to practice creating some patterns for your kente cloth weaving. So you're going to create your first paper today. You're going to choose a color paper that goes along with the color inspiration that um, is on your table. You're going to pick a color that has some meaning to you. So green probably means wealth on that paper, so I'm going to guess that. Plus I just picked a paper so that I can show you. Um, and then you're going to also get some tempera paints to use to paint some lines. With the tempera paint, you're going to choose two colors only because you're going to make a two color pattern. We're trying to keep it simple with our kente cloth right now. We don't want to get too complicated. So of these nine colors, I'm going to pick just two. So I think with the green, I'm going to choose some yellow and I think I'm going to choose some white. So I'm going to make a pattern of lines using yellow and white. So you can make your line patterns complicated or you can make them simple, but just remember you need to make a two color pattern. So I think I'm just gonna do a straight line here. And then I'm gonna do another straight line. So all my white lines are gonna be straight, but you can make your lines whatever you choose. I can go back and touch those up in just a moment. Remember to hold your brush by the handle, keep the hairs where the paint is. Do not go in that danger zone because you might get your hands messy. Making my lines a little bit thicker right now because I think they need to have a little bit more paint. <clears throat> and then with the yellow, I'm gonna go back and do a different kind of line in between these, these lines to make my pattern. So it's gonna go yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow. And then it's also gonna go straight line, maybe curvy line or zigzag line. Um, remember to clean your brush between colors, touch the hairs to the lip of the cup if it drips, and then dry your brush off on the paper towel that's on your um, tray. So next I'm gonna get the yellow and I'm gonna do the pattern of lines in there as well. So I'm gonna make some other kinds of lines, oops. Brush is thirsty, get some more paint on it. And you might have to go over your color a couple times if it doesn't show up. And then maybe in this one I could do a zigzag line. I might have to put my paint on a little bit more thick with this yellow because it's not showing up very well. So see how I'm creating a pattern with my yellow paint as well. You can create your patterns however you want, whatever makes sense to you, as long as you can explain the pattern when you're talking about your artwork and your artist statement later. So I'm just doing this really quickly to show you a completed painting. And it's very important that your paper is up and down and then your lines are going horizontally because next time when you come back, we're gonna turn our paper the opposite direction and we're going to paint them across on that paper so it's going to be wide instead of tall. When you're all done you're going to put your paper on the drying rack and then you're going to wash your hands in the sink. This completes your assignment for the day and then you can get a free draw paper from the free draw station. Please do not use the paint on your free draw paper because drawing is with dry media, painting is with paint.